What the heck is Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro? What do they do? How are they different? How are they similar? Don't worry, I'll answer those questions and more. I'll even show you how to get started with each one. And if you want to use them on your iPad, stick around and I'll share some exciting news. But first, what is Final Cut Pro? So Final Cut Pro is a professional video editing software owned and made by Apple. Over here is the browser. This is where you'll see your pictures and your videos that you might be using in your video project. You use this area to organize them and to add them to your project. Down here is what's called the timeline. This is where you make your video. You put your video clips in, your titles, your sounds and music, you can add effects to your videos. You can arrange your video clips. You can change your video clips durations and do all sorts of editing magic right here in the timeline. One thing that's cool about Final Cut Pro is it uses a magnetic timeline. So when I move this clip here, you'll notice everything moved over to the left to fill in that empty space. And when I put it back down in here, it moves all of the clips to the right to make room for this clip. It makes editing really fast. Final Cut Pro comes with a ton of built-in titles and effects. You can see right here. Down here in this social category, there's a bunch of really nice looking ones. This is what one of them looks like. And what's cool about this is I can select this and I can change the text and customize it to look exactly how I want. Very cool. Not only does Final Cut come with a bunch of titles, it comes with all these effects too. If I click over here on the effects browser, I can add a bunch of different effects to my clips. Let's add this blur here. So now this video is blurred out. Not only that, I can adjust how much it's blurred out. A ton or none at all. Final Cut also comes with some built-in transitions. So if I click this button and go down here to movements and I can just drag and drop a transition between two clips and look at this. Boom, editing magic. Once you're done making your video in Final Cut Pro, you can quickly share your video to DVD, export it as a file, send it to YouTube or share it anywhere you want. So you can make any kind of video with Final Cut Pro. Tons of YouTubers use it to make their videos like Casey Neistat, Logan Paul, and Emma Chamberlain. And then Hollywood has used it to make movies like Will Smith's Focus and Tina Fey's Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. And currently lots of small businesses are using it to run their production companies. In Apple TV's first movie, The Banker, starring Samuel L. Jackson and Anthony Mackie, that was made on Final Cut Pro. So you can make any kind of video with Final Cut Pro from home videos to Hollywood feature films. So what kind of computer do you need for Final Cut Pro? Here are the minimum system requirements. You need at least Mac OS 11.5.1 and they recommend four gigabytes of RAM. However, if you're going to do regular video editing, I recommend at least eight gigabytes. That allows you to get started, but if you like it and want to do more video editing, it kind of grows and allows you to do more. If you're going to be editing a lot, then I recommend 16 gigabytes. That'll be a lot faster for you. And if you do editing full time, I recommend 32 gigabytes. You also need at least four and a half gigabytes of disk space for Final Cut Pro, but you want to get enough space to store your video files, which can get very big, especially if you're recording in 4K. And I recommend a solid state drive. They're so fast and you can get a big one at a great price. So what if you want to try out Final Cut Pro? No problem. They have a trial. It's good for 90 days and it's the full version of the app. You can make your video, you can add effects, titles and transitions. You can share your videos and there's no watermarks. So I'll put a link to this page down in the description below, but you can download the trial and test it out and see if you like it. Okay, I got to admit, I love Final Cut Pro. And if you love this video, will you please give it a thumbs up so other people will see it? And in just a second, I'm going to show you how you can get Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro on your iPad. But first, what is is Logic Pro. Logic Pro is professional audio editing software owned by Apple. It's perfect for making songs, mixing music, making beats, or editing sound. This is an example of a project by Lil Nas X. But in Logic Pro, you have all these different tracks. You can add instruments, vocals, software instruments. You can organize your tracks and move them around. You can adjust their volume. You can solo just that track. And of course you can add a ton of effects to it as well, like we see here. So you can make anything audio in Logic Pro. You can make songs, you can make soundtracks, you can edit audio dialogue. It's an all around audio production software. And like Final Cut Pro is the big brother to iMovie, Logic Pro is the big brother to GarageBand. So what kind of computer do you need for Logic Pro? Here are the requirements for it. You need Mac OS 12.3 or later, and you need six gigabytes of storage for minimum installation or 72 gigabytes of storage for a full sound library installation. They don't have any recommendations on RAM and that's not as important for audio because it's not as intensive or resource heavy like video can be. 
And just like Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro has a free trial that you can test for 90 days. I'll link to this web page down below and you can download the trial and test it out. It's the full software and you can do everything in it like normal, but you just have 90 days to play with it. This is a great way to play with it, test it out, see if you like it before you buy it. And when you are ready to buy it, you may want to check out this Pro Apps Bundle for Education. So this is for people that are in the education sector or students. They can get Final Cut Pro right here and Logic Pro plus three other pieces of software for only $200. Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro actually integrate well together. Let's say I'm working on this video in Final Cut Pro, but I want to use some of Logic Pro's tools to edit it. What I can do is go up to File, Export XML, and give the project a name. We'll go FCP2LP for Final Cut Pro to Logic Pro, and I'll select where I want to save it. This folder looks good, and then I'll click Save. I can go into Logic Pro, select New Project, Empty Project, and click Choose. It'll ask me a track type to create. I'll just go ahead and select Software Instrument and click Create. Let's close this little window here. And now I can go up to File and select Import, and then I can select Final Cut Pro XML. Then I'll select my exported XML file and click Import. It's asking me if I want to switch my frame rate. I'll say yes. Let's switch, and then I'll click OK. And you'll see the video over here, and then you'll see our audio in here. Here's our song, and here's the dialogue from it. If I press play, you'll see the movie moving over here as it plays a sample of it. And then we'll hear our music here as well. So now in Logic Pro, I can edit this audio, I can add effects to it and use all of Logic Pro's tools to enhance it. And then when I'm ready to put it back in Final Cut Pro, I'll go up to File, Export, and I'll select Project to Final Cut Pro XML. And I'll give it a name, we'll say LP to FCP this time, and I'll click Save. So now we can go back to Final Cut Pro and I can go up to File and select Import XML. I'll select my Logic Pro to Final Cut Pro and select Import. And it created this little new event here and inside is this compound clip. If I add this compound clip to my project, you'll see that it's got the song right here and it lines up with our project as well as my dialogue here and then any changes I made to that audio. So even though Final Cut Pro is for video editing and Logic Pro is for audio editing, they actually can work together pretty well to make your videos even better. Just the other day, Apple announced that they're going to release Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro for the iPad. So now you can edit your videos using Final Cut Pro's power right in your hands with the iPad. I can't wait, it's gonna be cool. And you'll have your music studio at your fingertips as well. This is a game changer. I remember years ago, I went to Puerto Rico and I wanted to make a video every day for my family. And I used a little phone to edit it. And it was hard to do. But on an iPad, bigger surface area, I think it will be really fun to edit a video. It's really intuitive to edit a video using your fingers and a touch screen. So Final Cut Pro is perfect for video editing and Logic Pro is perfect for music creation. Now, when you're ready to dive into Final Cut Pro, the first two things you'll notice are libraries and events. I made a video explaining what those are and how to use them. Click here to check it out.